specific about your health resolution or fitness resolution for this year 2019. It could, like, you know, instead of just writing general that I want to be healthy, try to think about what do you mean by healthy? Like, do you want to lose weight or do you want to exercise more or do you want to eat better? Like, something a little bit more specific so we can, like, you know, dwell deep into it. I'll give you like a few seconds. It could be like not just in general that I want to improve my energy levels. Or the way I grew up, sure. it's high on carbs, and um, I find it difficult to reduce carbs uh, in my diet, so I would love to learn how to reduce carbs and still feel full. I know there's fiber foods I can have, but I miss the growing up foods that I grew up with, so I would love to hear ideas about that. Sure, I mean, I would, I would be more than happy to share, but in today's topic, we are just gonna uh, reach only to the basics of where we start and maybe in the future sessions I will definitely talk specifically about like just the Indian diet like you know so today my uh, intention for the session is that just you should know where you stand in the wellness part and what actions you can take to take your wellness to the next level but definitely I'll be more than happy to help you out and I, I practice that so it would be very easy for me to answer that. Anything else? Yeah. I, I thought um, on the same lines, I thought that I'll gain something uh, uh, on nutrition from this session. You'll get, you'll get much more than nutrition. Yeah. Brain nutrition. Uh, okay. Maybe yeah. a holistic one. Yeah. Encouragement. That's what I'm <laughs> Anything else? Like, what's the intention for this session? Well, generally, when we talk about wellness or, you know, will you be more fitter, I think all the discussions are all about how you should eat better or exercise more. So I'm looking at getting more ideas because none of these things have worked Okay, perfect, perfect. You're at the right spot. All right, so I think uh, let's get started with now the topic. talking about introspecting our own wellness. So we are going to look into ourselves, into our life, into our health journey, that what it means by wellness actually. And discuss wellness a little bit. So the wellness triangle is you exercise, the diet, so most importantly is the hydration part in the diet also. And the mindfulness as I have talked in previous sessions about how we can build up our emotional strength. And the last part is the social and the spiritual part. So what does it mean? Like what does wellness happens? Like, you know, it's not just the physical component of wellness. It's the mental and the emotional part and the social and the spiritual part. All three together makes the wellness triangle. It's not just exercising or it's not just eating the right thing would be the part. It, it does play a major contribution, but in reality, the triangle should be really well balanced. And 
the World Health Organization has described this wellness as it's not just absence of disease, but a complete physical, mental, and social well-being. So basically, you are thriving your life. It's not just like living the life. So when you have all these three components covered up, the physical part, the mental and the emotional, and the social and the spiritual, you really live every moment. You really feel that life is so worth living. So that's where is the most important part. Now this is the most interesting part. We are going to do a self-assessment here and you all are going to analyze yourself. So nobody knows the scores and this is all confidential. So I'm going to pass on a introspection sheet and I'll explain you how we are going to do it. So just like <laughs> no, this doesn't need that much of time. It's very introspective. It's very quick. I don't want anybody to go into too much of detail and like entire one hour into this questionnaire. So what we are going to do is we are just going to rate ourselves. So the rank ranking is from zero to ten. Zero means you don't do anything, and ten means you do it all the time. So zero and ten are going to be very very easy to put, but. Five, six, seven, eight, that's all up to you. I'm not gonna check them. Even the partner is not gonna look at it. This is confidential to yourself and be authentic about it. Just whatever feels right to you, rate the number accordingly. So if you think that, uh, for example, exercise three to five times a week, 30 minutes. If you do it, just put 10. If you don't do it, you put zero. And if you're like, I do one or two days, I do three days, but not 30 minutes, then rate yourself as six, seven, whatever it comes to. Any questions about the ranking part? Is this for last year or the year before? <laughs> <laughs> I think I was fit the book. Yeah, yeah. Just, so we all talk about the present moment. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's last year. So any questions before I go to the questionnaire? All right, let's go to one of the, I'll go through it, don't worry, you don't have to do anything. So now we are gonna rate it. First, focus on the physical column. So first question is, exercise three to five times per week for 30 minutes. So mark yourself from zero to 10, where do you stand? And it should be like in 30 seconds. You don't have to think that much. Just put yourself whatever number you think is the right number. Ten more seconds. Eat three to five servings of fruits and veggies at least five days a week. So think how many veggies and uh, fruits do you eat? Drink 12 ounces of water six to eight times a day. and turning in the bed, which you know sometimes it happens that you sleep for six hours, but by the time you wake up, you are already exhausted. You don't feel that energetic. So it should be sound sleep. And you go for annual physical and dental checkups. If you don't go for dental, you can easily rate it as five. If you do both, then you can put 10. And if you don't do both, then you know what to put. Everybody clear with the physical? Let's move on to the second one. Good? Now comes the mental and the emotion. I manage my emotions very well. So for example, if something has happened at the workplace and when you come back home, you don't bring those emotions at home. You don't yell at your kids, you don't get irritated at them, you don't yell at your spouse, you don't get irritated at the spouse or the relatives. You manage your emotions really well. So I think this would be a gray area because sometimes we do and sometimes we don't. So whatever number things feels right to you in the heart, put it that way. Second is, I never blame others or the situation for my behavior. If you're stuck in traffic, 
and I'm like, oh my God, why this traffic happens only to me? And you get angry, you get irritated, or why did my kids do that? You make me angry all the time. So if you blame the situation, or if you're blaming other person for your own behavior, that's how you're gonna rate it. You know what, for these honest answers, people who are married should can't be this much. That's why. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Discount <laughs> I do one activity or per week that I love to do or that I'm passionate about. So it could be anything. Your passion could be about, say, painting or writing or just listening to music. Something that you are really, really passionate about. At least you do once a week. Would you categorize watching TV? Yes, yes. If you are passionate about it, go mm -hmm. for it. Like for example, I'm really passionate about my meditation. Mm -hmm. So I'll do it. So you can put anything, whatever resonates with you, you can go for that. I never let ego rule my decisions. So if there is an argument, if there's a discussion, and you have apologized to that person for four or five times, and still if that person is not responding, but you are like, you know what, if she doesn't or he doesn't want to talk to me, I have no interest in it. If that comes to your mind more often, then you know where to scale it. So, like, you know, you will know why ego takes so much stress on us. And you can stop me if any of the questions are not clear because these are all the new ways to think inside, to look inside, and to just introspect yourself. The last one is I love and respect myself the way I am. So you don't say that this is not more than enough. So for example, if I get into a small size of clothes, I'll be so much happier. Or if I get a promotion, that then I would be happy. But you just love, I'm not saying that you should not be ambitious or you should not put your goals, but this is something that you just love the way you are at right now. You don't keep criticizing yourself or you don't blame yourself. You just love who you are. Let's go to the last piece of the triangle. I'm blessed to have loving people in my life. I think in our culture, that would be a very big thing because we are blessed to have so many loving people. I believe in something that is bigger than me. I don't have to explain this. This is just believing in faith, believing in God, believing in something more intellect, more than the intellect. So for example, even in our hospital, like there is a skilled cardiac surgeon who would on the paper write down that I give 99% guarantee that this surgery is gonna be successful. Even he, after doing the surgery, he would be like, you pray, I pray. So that is where I feel that science cannot go beyond certain point, no matter how medicine gets advanced. But that's where the faith comes into picture. That's where the miracle starts happening. You believe in something bigger than you. I do at least one volunteer activity, which I think that would be very much true for everybody here, most likely. Like, you know, if you're participating in Hindi USA, that's your volunteer activity. If you get involved in any of the cultural events, that's your volunteer activity. So think about whether you do it week. or not. Is that for a week? Yeah, I mean, no. I do at least one volunteer activity all throughout the year. That's why. Then I respect and love my family all the time. I don't even have, have to express that. The last one is I love meeting my loved ones and express, that's the uppercase. Express my feelings for them. If your wives have told you that, oh, you don't give time to me, you know what to rate yourself. So basically, even for the wives or for the husbands, how much do you express your feelings for the other people? For your parents, how many times even have you sit down and just, like you know, we do feel the feelings. I'm not saying that we don't. We do feel, but we take so much, so many things for granted that we forget to express what it means like. Like how many times even we have said, expressed our feelings for our parents. We do feel it that yeah, because of I am who I am for my, because of the parents. But just taking a moment and just expressing that how much love and respect you have for them or what you feel for them. 
that would open up a lot of space. And between the spouses, I always feel that when is the last time when you have expressed your feelings for the other person? I'm not talking about the birthday gifts. I'm not talking about the anniversary gifts. But just that quality of two minutes or five minutes when you have just said that what it means to you by having that other person in your life. Just think about that and introspect. I've seen like so many times when couples are talking, like they are on the phone. They are distracted in between the conversation. They can't even like focus and give the quality time and keep the phone aside for five minutes. So just think about it that how much would you like to wait yourself? All clear? We are at the same page? Now comes the fun <coughs> part. So sum it up, use your math, and just put on all the three sides of the triangle what your scores are. just for yourself like I'm not going to ask the scores nothing just see what the sum comes and just put on all three sides of the triangle so you'll know where the physical part is the mental and emotional and the social and the spiritual part is good everybody a little bit more time or are you good done so now let's analyze what's going on here just check, are all the three sides equal? No. Anybody who has all the three sides equal? Like equal meaning exactly the same number? Yeah. Is one area stronger than other? Yep. Right? Can you do anything to balance the triangle? Mm -hmm. So what are the future steps and plans? That's what we are gonna discuss about that how we can go into it. So this is just kind of an introduction to build up a good foundation and then we deal into specifics that whether we want to exercise more, whether we want to go with the diet and then I, I'm sure I can go into that, okay now the diet we have narrowed down that we have to focus on diet, then what do you do in the Indian diet? Like that's how I break it down rather than you know having no foundation. So then we see that in all the three areas, what are the steps we can do? Did I tell anything new about the physical triangle? You already know all this stuff. There is absolutely no new thing that I've said. All we have done is we have created these triangles, right? It's the same thing. You all know that I have to be calm and grounded all the time. I need to like take the responsibility of my thoughts and emotions, right? And everybody knows that services what is the seva so there is nothing new but what is the missing piece between our goals and reality we all have goals but there is something missing that the goals doesn't turn into the reality for some people yes they do for others they don't right some people can make it half the way some people can fully do it so what is that missing piece that doesn't let our goals turn into the reality what do you think mind thinking. So for example, let's just, um, I'm just going to pick Anshulji. So if you have made uh, the goal for say, you know, doing exercise five times per week. So what happens that you can't go five times? You might go three times. You might go four times. Just pure laziness. Pure laziness. Okay. Anything else? Kid. Kids. Yeah. Time. Time. Anything else that you Work. Think? Work. Right. So According to me, I was thinking about these things. Does that resonate with you? I do not have enough time for exercising. I covered you. In winter, it's hard to get out of those house for a walk. Once the weather gets better, I'm going to do go out, right? Kids are too small right now. Or if the kids are bigger, then you're like, I'm so occupied with the kids taking them to all activities. I'm too tired with work, responsibilities, and the kids, of course. And I've tried this all, but I can't lose my weight. I lose some pounds, then I regain it. So you don't feel motivated to do it again. You're like, you know what? This doesn't work for me, right? 
And then the last one, this is my favorite. From tomorrow. No, no, no. From this Monday, I promise myself I'm going to do that. Right? Does that resonate yeah. with yeah. you? Yes. Yeah. So what are these? Thoughts. Right? These Just are nothing thinking. but... Yeah. Excuses. Yeah. And these are all the answers coming from you. I'm not giving those answers. So what are these statements? They are just reasons. They are just thoughts. It's procrastination and it's belief that in winter I can't go out and exercise. That's just a belief system. I can exercise at house. You can do so many exercises indoor. But that is what we have made a belief and we think that that's the reality. Winter is there. That's the reality. But what we mix up is our thoughts. We think that that's real. So then, how do we overcome these thoughts? Taking the power back. Create yourself the way you want. Not, don't let the world create you. By that, what I mean is, whatever resonates with you from inside, that's what you want to do it over and over again so that the world starts seeing you at that time. So for example, like me and my, my husband, they bo we both are very particular about time. So no matter which party it is, whether it's in New Jersey or in Stanford, if they have set six o'clock, we will be there at six o'clock because that's how we want to create ourselves. So we will show up five minutes early so we can be on time. I'm not, I don't have any offense about people who come in late for the parties, but this is what resonates with us. So we chose to do that. So when we go all the time on time, they know that these people are always on time. So one of our cousins in New Jersey, they were having a birthday party and the invite was there and it was like 3.30 to 5.30 is the birthday party. So my sister-in-law calls and says that we have written that time but the party starts at four. Our mm -hmm. all friends come in late, so that's why we wrote it. But this is how the world, like you create yourself in the front of world. If you don't create yourself, the world is gonna create you. For example, if, um, what's your name? Ruchi. Ruchi. So if Ruchi, I'm telling Ruchi that uh, Ruchi, my session is going to start at 7. Can you come at 6.55? And Or if we are like meeting for a party or something or a coffee, and if I tell her, and she'll be like, yeah, sure, sure, I will come. I'll be there. Don't worry about it. And then every time she comes, she shows up 10 minutes late. Then basically I have created her as, oh, Ruchi, she's like that. Right? So choose yourself how you want to create yourself in front of the world because you are nothing but your world. This is a very simple statement, but that's the reality of all of us. If you say that I will do two times exercise per week, then you prove your worth. Otherwise, they'll be like, oh, her sal bol then. It's never going to happen. So you make a point that you will do two times exercise no matter what happens, no matter what the laziness comes in, no matter what, if you have chosen a diet plan as I'm not gonna eat deep fried stuff, you have made a plan. And then right then, universe is also very funny. When, when you have made this resolution, I'm not gonna eat deep fried stuff, you have to go to a party. And in that party, the first appetizer comes is the samosas. And you are like, yeah, what should I do? And you're like, no, 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 you know, I have, like you're very firm, you say that, no, 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 I'm not gonna eat any deep fried stuff, I have made the resolution. And then people, like, you know, Indian culture is like so loving. They are like, you know, aaj ke din khalo. it's a cheat day, that's fine. And then you're like, yeah, but no, 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 I'm seriously not doing it. You are also firm. And then like, you know what, half khalo aaj ke. And then you're like, nay, 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 I'm not. And then they would be like, acha skin khali je, masala rehne di je. Like, you know, some, and then you got, okay, samne wale ko bura lag jayega. She or he has made with so much effort and this and that. So one day, you break that rule. And then second time, they're like, half to khai lete, pehle bolte kaafi time tak, right? So if you stay, if you have made a resolution, stay with that. And it's, it's to be very honest, the other person is never going to feel bad about it if they really love you truly. Think about it. If they really cherish your wellness, your fitness, they are going to support you in your health journey. They'll be like, I understand I, and I respect your resolution. And you know what? 
first time you stay firm second time you stay firm third time they are not even going to offer you not in a bad way <coughs> but just because you have created yourself and it's not the stubbornness it's just being polite and just staying with your word that's all it's as simple as that so that's that's a very very important thing to remember that you are your word and the next important thing to remember is your thought your word and your action all three things have to be in harmony if that is a missing piece you will always have stress in your body and like you know i have seen so many people like um at sinai basically i deal with cardiac surgery patients and day one when you see them you realize that i can make uh, the conclusion right away that this person was physically fit before not just physically but physically socially and mentally if you have all three things covered god forbid any disease happens to you you will be right on the other side in no time and people who suffer are the people who don't have all the three triangles balanced so we have the opportunity to take the responsibility and make sure that all three triangles are balanced all three sides of the triangle are balanced so that whenever any situation comes we always survive and thrive out of it and we want to be in the category where we can handle any situation with just ease and fun so that's what it is the thought word and action as soon as you recognize that something is missing make sure you change it for example we many times we do actions but our thoughts are at some different place so one sunday i work on some weekends so one sunday i come back from work i come at 3:30 and 4 o'clock our kids are having a swim lesson and my husband was planning to take but because i reached 3:30 he's like oh you are here can you take them and the first thought that came to my mind was i just came from work and why could like and he just woke up from his nap so why couldn't he take it and then i asked myself do i want to take the kids to swimming and my answer was yes because i looked forward to to like you know to see them doing the swimming you know so i'm like if i want to take so that's my action right i'm taking swimming but in my thought i have the grudge or a negative feeling for my husband the moment i realized i'm like i can't have the discrepancy so i need to change my thought and just thank the universe for giving me the responsibility and making me the messenger for doing this activity for them the moment it came the entire relationship the entire relationship between the thought and him was a different one i did not have any kind of you know a sad feeling or a little bit of glitch which we think that it's very fair like how many of you would say that you were right right there would be tons of supporters who would say yes you were right but no i have to take responsibility of my own behavior i have to take responsibility for my own stressors if i let that build it up one day that glass is going to spill over so make sure your thoughts your word and actions are same in india when we are there right at 9:30 10 o'clock when the guest comes in and we have to make the tea we make the tea we serve the breakfast or we serve the snacks with the tea but man mein kya lagta hai koi time ka andaza hi nahi hai to they show up whenever they show up right so then if you don't have that vibration and energy for them don't make the tea it's fine they'll feel bad for one day that's fine but you are stopping the negative energy to go from yourself to them either change your thought and say that thank you universe for making me the messenger to serve the tea for them or don't make the tea so make sure that your thought your word and your actions are all in really good sync if that's the case then you are going to live every moment powerfully that is for sure so try and analyze sometimes can you does this resonate with you that so many times we don't work with that harmony yeah yeah but for the other thought it's a very great thought you uh, you know put across here but i'm just trying to play that situation over that you know you had a thought that you did not want to do a certain thing but you're but you are right like, supposed to take out your kids and you sure. really look forward to that yeah but but what if you did not want to take them out yeah so you tell them you tell your 
spouse or somebody else that I really don't want Correct. to do this. So now that the friction which arises out of that, that situation which you mentioned, wouldn't that also affect your wellness in a way? Because now you're going to get into some altercation. But that you are Why anticipating. You we are not having any real facts, right? Mm -hmm. Like, see, we, the, we can go into this topic. Like, you know, let me finish this and I'll get back to you sure. on this. Just remind me on that. Because I like the whole session can go on that. That's why I want to hold on myself with that. That's my favorite topic. <laughs> the other important thing is be in the process and not get attached to the outcome. So by that, what I mean is that you might have made a goal that I want to lose 10 pounds, right? Or you might have made a goal that I want to lose 15 pounds. And if you don't get 15 pounds or 10 pounds, then you get upset, then you get sad. So rather than be in the process, for example, what all things do you need to lose 10 pounds? I need to exercise, I need to eat healthy diet. So those are the two things. And if you are doing it consistently, then no matter what the outcome is, at the end of three months or two months, whatever you have made the time frame, just embrace it. Just embrace it as it is. For other example I can give you is like for my session. I'm just in the process. My job is to just deliver 100% that I know and I do a good job. I'm not going to give you the power whether you like the session or not like the session, how many people show up, that has nothing to do with my happiness. My happiness is responsible just being in the process. Did I do a 100% job being there, standing there for 45 minutes, 50 minutes? If I feel yes, that's it. It's not that I'm not going to improve on the sessions or I won't like try to incorporate all the thoughts that people want in the session. That's a different thing, but not getting attached to the outcome. That's a very, very big thing. So make sure that you be in the process. Exactly. Here you go. <laughs> and the last thing is, the key thing of the session is, if you have to just remember one thing out of the whole session, remember this thing, plan your work and work your plan. So what I mean by that is, let's take a real life example. So I have to lose nine pounds in three months. This is my work. That's my goal for 2019. So for three months, in three months, if I have to lose nine pounds, so I'm thinking that every month I should lose three pounds. So I make a plan, every month I'm gonna lose three pounds. So what are gonna be my actions? Uh, according to my schedule, I can go for exercise twice a week. And according to my schedule, I can cut down on my sweets. So I take care of all the parts of the triangle, right? So I make a plan, I can ex I'm gonna exercise twice a week. So then which days are, am I going to exercise? What does my schedule look like? I can do Wednesday and Friday, got it. On Wednesday and Friday, what time can I go? Be very, very specific. So then it comes as, I can do the exercise between 6 to 6.30. Okay, 6 to 6.30, Wednesday and Friday, I'm going to do my exercise. Saturday and Sunday, I can eat unhealthy stuff, but Monday to Friday, I'm not going to eat. So I have all the steps written down in a piece of paper. There is nothing in my mind. It's set stone in my calendar. And then I have a backup day. If I get sick or if something comes up, then my backup day is this. So for my entire three months, the plan is set. I have my actions written down and it's all in the calendar. Yes, I do have to sit for 10, 15 minutes in the beginning to make that plan. But then there's no stress in my mind. Oh, this week I didn't do. I have done it because it's the written thing. Like all of you who work in the offices, don't you present your meetings on time all the time, no matter what stress comes up? All the females who are the stay home moms, don't you get food ready for the parties at 6.30 or seven o'clock when they're gonna come? You're always on time. So you have that muscle already in you that you can make a good plan so sit down for 10 minutes it's a very new way to do it but sit down put down your actions and then work your plan all you have to do is follow those steps for example i had this my session on friday so i know at 6:55 i have to be here so by 
Thursday, I'm just kind of a person who likes to do one day before. So by Thursday, my slides should be ready. Okay, Thursday, what time do I have the timings opening? Those are the things you put into actions and then make sure that you plan your work. If you, if you have understood this sentence intellectually, and if this sentence resonates with you, my invitation is to just live this sentence. If you follow this sentence and really do it practically, none of your goals can be left out without being fulfilled. Your goals are gonna come into reality if you can follow just one line of this. Any doubts with this line? Any questions, any queries? That's simple enough? Yeah, I try to simplify it as much as possible. So let's recap. So balance your wellness triangle. It's not just the physical part. It's not just the diet part, or it's not just the emotional or the mental part. You have to take the ownership and balance all the three sides of the triangle if you really, really want to live a fulfilled life. If you just have to like survive through the life, that's fine too. If that's what resonates with you, go for it. But I always feel that every human being, this is such a precious life. You all should be thriving every single moment, no matter what situation you are in. Second thing is make baby steps and realistic goals. Don't think that I have to lose 25 pounds in one week. That's just not possible. So make realistic and baby steps, whatever resonates with you. And then commitment. It takes just 21 days to make a new habit. So if you feel that, you know, I get angry all the time at my kids or majority of the times, then make it a point that I'm just gonna introspect myself. And in 21 days, or if you make like one good habit of I'm gonna drink one bottle full six times a day, just stay with that and practice it for 21 days. Don't overwhelm you. Just take baby steps, realistic goals, and practice it for 21 days. And this is like all evidence-based that in 21 days, you make a new habit. And the last one is you can create yourself the way you want because you are your word. And plan your work and work your plan. Any questions, any thoughts, insights, concerns? What has opened up for you? Motivation to do. Motivation to? To do that, to make it happen. To make it happen. So like, you know, you have the power. Everybody has the power. Every is, single yeah. person. But how you can just make that distinction and just keep creating what you want. You can create the life that you want for yourself. You can create yourself, you can create your life. If you don't create yourself, the world is gonna create you. So choice is yours, what do you want, right? So thank you everybody. Thank you. Yeah. If we have a little bit of time, if you don't have any questions, can we just uh, do a little meditation? Yeah, sure. You're open for it? on the heart, one hand on the belly, close your eyes gently. Just ground yourself, feel the chair, feel the feet on your ground. Take a little small deep breath in through your nose, feel your belly expanding and breathing out slowly from your mouth as if you are like blowing a small candle. Let's do a gratitude meditation. So everybody look into your heart, just bow down your chin towards the heart and put a smile on your face.
think about three blessings that you have in your life. It could be anything, your kids, your family, your job, your spouse, your friends, your office, your parents, whatever comes to your mind. Just think about those three blessings or three things that you are really grateful for you. Just feel that feeling that comes into your heart and body. Breathing nice and slowly. Focus on your breathing. Feel the love. like a bright yellow light that you feel in your entire body from the toes till the head. The bright luminous light is radiating all throughout your body and you are sending this energy and love to all your loved ones, your friends, your parents, your co-workers, everybody that you know. Now you are sending this love and energy to all the people who are suffering in this world. Just getting connected to them with the thought that you are sending this love and energy so that they can feel the healing in their bodies. Now you are radiating this love and light to the planets, the mountains, the oceans. Every being on this planet. And you thank the universe for making you the messenger today. And just getting connected to each and every one because at the end we all are one. Keep focusing on your breath. Whatever thoughts are coming to your mind, let them pass like a cloud. Don't analyze them, don't judge them. Just bring your attention back to the breathing. When you give, at the very next moment you become the receiver. The universe is sending all the love, the healing energy and the bright luminous light back to you. Each and every cell of your body is just profoundly, profoundly getting all this energy. This energy is going to remain all throughout the rest of your day. Tell yourself three times, I'm physically active and mentally relaxed. following your breathing pattern. And slowly, slowly when you are ready, just bring both your hands into the prayer position. And gently open your eyes when you are ready the body consciousness and 
just bow down you are letting go your ego and let the heart rule you thank you everybody thank you thank you Thank you.